Hey guys, hey Chosen Generation, hey beautiful people of the Most High God, how are you guys doing on this Tuesday evening? It is Tuesday evening and it is kind of, you know, late in the evening, but I still wanted to come on and give you what the Lord has given me for today. So welcome, welcome to all my subscribers, welcome and welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. Um, if it's your first time here, my name is Me, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, uh, scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome to uh, the channel. We would love to have you as a chosen generation family. Please hit that subscribe button if that's the content that you like, and well as well as uh, hit your notification bell for every upcoming video. Let me give you a hug. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And a welcome to all my subscribers. Mm -hmm. I appreciate each and every one of you. So welcome and welcome. You guys, today, I tell you, it's been a busy day again today, but it's okay. You know, I always try to make sure that I can squeeze in, you know, um, time, uh, of course, for prayer, time to uh, meditate, time through the day to just spend time with God, you know, because it's very important that we spend time with God, that we're not just going about our day, even if we have jobs, even if we have business businesses, whatever it is that you're doing, even if you have to stop at work and go to the bathroom and pray, whatever it is, take that time out and spend time with our Father, our Heavenly Father, because He wants to know that even in the midst of us working jobs, that we can take that time out and talk to Him, even if it's just for a minute. Amen? Because he is a jealous God and he wants no other God before us. He wants to be first and center in our lives. Amen. I just wanted to read with you guys uh, Ephesians. Um, and I'm not going to be before you long, but I did want to read Ephesians because that is uh, this chapter has been on my heart today. Ephesians, the fifth chapter, starting at the first verse. And the first verse says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And we're going to flip it over. And this is the King James Version. We're going to go to verse 2. And walk in love as Christ also have loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling favor. Amen. And verse 3, But fornication and all uncleanliness or covetedness let it not once named among you as becoming saints. You know, um, let's go to verse 4. Let's see. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. You know, so we want to make sure that we are mindful, that we are not getting in uh, with people that are talking, carnal, people that are saying things that are not pleasing in God's sight and we are really really trying to live a clean and uh clean life to uh for our, for our heavenly father if we're trying to really lay aside every weight we want to make sure that we are not allowing ourselves to get involved in any uh talking that is not pleasing in his sight and we know we can pretty much know when people are saying things that are not pleasing in God's sight uh you know, if we are spending time in the Word of God, if we are praying, we know what what we should be listening to, what we shouldn't be listening to. And that goes vice versa for anything on TV, music, things like that. We know what what will God be pleased with. Is You know, what is He um, pleased with? You know, what does His Word say about these things? Amen. So let's read uh, verse 5. For this ye know... That no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater have any inheritance in the kingdom of, of Christ and of God. So no one that's not living according to this Bible will have any type of inheritance for the kingdom of God. Verse 6, let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. So does God get angry and does he have a wrath? Absolutely. So will he, uh, you know, allow things on children of disobedience? Absolutely. It just said it in his word. Um, we have to be obedient to what God is telling us to do. Because we don't want 
uh, to, for God's wrath to come down on us because of disobedience. That's a dangerous thing. Amen. Verse 7, be not therefore partakers with them. Verse 8, for we, um, excuse me, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. So we once were uh, doing the things of the world, doing things uh, that are, were not pleasing in God's sight. And he's saying now that we are in the light, walk in the light, which he is the light. And the word of God is in us. So we need to make sure that we are uh, allowing his light to flow through us daily and not allow the darkness to try to twinkle back in. As if, you know, a lot of times when, like I said, people um, that are not in that place, a lot of times can begin to say little jokes, say little things, and it may seem innocent, but God is saying, don't respond, don't get involved in it, but uh, stay in the fold of walking in the light. Amen? Walk in the light. Verse 9, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Okay. Um, verse 10. Proving that, excuse me, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Uh, verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Okay. So, you know, don't go along with wrong, you know, works of darkness, but, you know, when you see somebody doing something that's not really um, beneficial to the kingdom of God or beneficial to, uh, you know, help someone, you know, allow the Holy Spirit to allow you to give you what to say to uh, correct whatever they're doing, you know, in the spirit of love. You know, it's a lot of times it's not, you know, uh, what you say, but it's how you say it. You know, and if you say it in love and let them know, you know, you don't need to talk like that. You don't, you know, let me, let me say, you know, you, you know, God loves you. And, you know, um, just the Holy Spirit will just give you what to say to him. You know, some people have an issue with just every word is a curse word, you know, every single word. They don't know what else to say but a curse word, you know, um, it makes them feel like they are really uh, a man or a woman when they say all these different curse words. But God is saying, you know, um. He'll give you what to say to these people um, so that, you know, because sometimes it's people that are so used to saying those curse words that every time you talk to them, they're saying a curse word, you know. you can't, They can't hold a conversation with you without saying at least a curse word in between every other word. So verse 12, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. And God is saying, he's saying it's a shame. To speak of the things, you know, some of these things that people will be, you know, even joking about, you know, um, it's a shame to speak of it, he's saying, you know, in secret. You know, some people have like, oh, well, no, so-and-so, you know, this, this, and that, and this, and that, and the other, you know, even some of the things that a lot of these even comedians are joking about, you know, a lot of things, it's a shame, you know, uh, some of them go too far with their jokes. And, you know, uh, here, right here, verse 12, it's a shame even to speak about those things which are done in secret. And it may be something that, you know, this goes on, that goes on, you know, and they, they some kind of way make a joke about it. But God is saying, you know, uh, it's a shame to even speak of those things. Uh, verse 13, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doeth make manifest is light. Verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse, uh, verse 16. This is the last verse. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Amen. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. We are living in the last days. And our father, our daddy is soon to come. And I know people say, well, it's been over 2,000 years ago. But guess what? He's sooner to come today than he's ever been. And we must not allow ourselves to get 
into the uh, habit of not walking uprightly each day. Each day. You know, it's not no one day here, one day there, or I don't feel like it today. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you get up, you don't feel like doing nothing. You don't feel like going to work. You don't feel like... It's not like that. It's, you have, we, you, it's a press. We're living in a pressing time, and we must press. You know, every day we must press, press toward the mark, hallelujah, of the calling of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, as the word of God says. We must press. Amen? So I just wanted to come on and read those verses to you because it, the Holy Spirit had really been dealing with me about those verses and how we have to make sure that, you know, uh, we are not getting, you know, wrapped up in the things of this world. We are not getting wrapped up in, you know, foolish conversation, you know, talking about things that are not really pleasing in his sight. It's getting all wrapped up in stuff that's foolishness, you know. And um, sometimes people, a lot of times, don't know how to tell people I'm not you know, I'm not really interested in hearing what you're saying, you know, but you have to be bold. When you're trying to live holy, you have to be bold with people. You can't be scared to speak up. You can't be scared to her off, you know, if they get offended. You know, you say it in love, and if they still get offended, it's nothing you can do, but the only thing you can do is give uh, what the Holy Spirit is giving you what to say. Amen. I love you guys. I just wanted to come on and give you that word. I pray that it bless you. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Father God, that you would, oh God, give each and every one of us boldness at all times. When we hear people saying things and doing things that are not pleasing in your sight, help us to know how to reprove them in love. Reprove them with the spirit of love and to know what to say and what not to say. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your power and your anointing to break and destroy every yoke. We know, Father, that we are living in the last days. Help us, O oh God, to come up higher in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged. I pray that you have a blessed night. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I love you so much.